who actually made this decision? Because we hear this all the time in the church, right? The stake president has keys. The prophet has keys. Area authorities have keys. They have special priesthood responsibilities is what they mean by keys, right? I asked over and over again, so who made the decision with the way this was going to be handled to say nothing, basically? He specifically told me that the church legal department made that decision. And I, w- I kind of challenged him and said, so it wasn't you. He said, no, 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 it wasn't me. And I said, it wasn't, you know, the area elder. He said, no, no, no. He definitely knew about the situation, but church legal made the call. Active members to understand is like when you raise your hands during general conference or a state conference the next time and you're sustaining and agreeing to uphold the leaders of the church, you need to understand that sometimes the decisions you're saying you're going to sustain are made by lawyers who are making those decisions because of the church's financial interest. 